James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is August 10th, 2023, 3 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we still have not been hit with a solar storm, especially if we look at the estimated planetary index, the one that NOAA and NASA both use, the newly updated index. Again, no geomagnetic storm or geomagnetic disturbance ever since August 7th when we had a filament eruption, two long-term M flares, and an X flare that brought about a proton event that's still ongoing. We're still under a polar cap absorption event, but we were never hit by any plasma if we can believe these KP indexes. Yes, there are some geomagnetic disturbances on the college index and for the last three hours on the boulder index, but that's not what we were expecting, not even close, considering the proton and radiation storm that's been hitting Earth for three days now. And for all of the people saying, well, those CMEs just missed us. Many of them were Earth-facing along with the filament eruption, and even though the X-flare was around the limb of the sun, they've told us we've been hit by X-flares on the back side of the sun prior because of just our geomagnetic connection. This is our polar cap absorption event still ongoing for the day. No decent-sized Earth-facing solar flares to reinforce this proton event this radiation storm is really what it is and you can see the polar cap absorption event has lasted the entire day from something that occurred on the 7th that they say never impacted planet earth well it sure did impact planet earth ladies and gentlemen my question to you is what happened to the plasma and the geomagnetic storm we see the s one S3 storm here, that's the radiation storm, but what happened to the geomagnetic plasma that was expelled from our sun during the three solar events and the filament eruption on the 7th? Please let me know in the comments. Is it just bad information that we're receiving from our government agencies? Or is this polar cap absorption event false and fake? I know that we're having radio problems all around the globe, especially on the poles, so I doubt it. I'll be looking for your reasoning in the comments below. Please share, subscribe, and always remember anything's possible in Bizarro World.